In this video I'm going to show you how to create this cool space text effect in Adobe Photoshop. We're going to head over to Photoshop now and we're going to get started by making ourselves a new document. And the width is going to be 1920 pixels and the height is going to be 1200 pixels. Once you've got those settings all sorted, click on OK. And the first thing I want you to do is just pick up your paint bucket tool from your toolbox. Make sure you've got black selected as your top colour there, and I want you to colour the background in black. Next thing we're going to do is grab the text tool from our toolbox. I want you to choose the font Gil Sands Ultra Bold. Make the size about 100. We probably will make it a little bit bigger shortly. And the colour needs to be white. And I just want you to write a word across the page. I'm just going to write the word space. Okay, as I said before, this text is pretty small and we will have to make it a bit bigger. Make sure you've got the Move tool selected and the Show Transform Controls box at the top selected. And just hold Shift, oops, and you can resize that text and make it a fair size so you can read it easily and it takes up a good chunk on that page. Just press the tick at the top when you're done to apply that transformation. Okay, next thing we're going to do is pop on over to our layers panel here and what I want you to do on the space layer here I want you to hold down control and click on the T just here inside that square and what that's going to do is when we control click it it's going to select just the text on our page okay, after we've done that we're going to make a new layer and we're going to select that layer so I've got layer 1 selected here and then we're going to go over to where our paint bucket tool was and go back to the gradient tool just press G if you want to get to that quickly. Now what we're going to do is we're going to choose the black and white gradient here from our gradient color box at the top. Once that's selected, we're going to pick our own colors by clicking on that black and white um, color bar just here. So I'll just click on that and up comes your gradient editor. And what we want to do is change the colors of this black and white gradient. Okay, on the left, so you click on this little black padlock down here and then go down to the color section at the bottom and what I want you to do is change it to a lightish blue once you've got a light blue in pop on over to the little white padlock here click on that and we're going to change its color to a darker blue something like that. So you'll have a light blue on the left fading into a dark blue on the right. And we'll click OK once we've got that. Okay, we're going to click and drag now from the right hand side of our text. So I'm going to go above this E and drag diagonally across to the bottom left over near that S there and let go. And you'll see that that gradient that we chose before is now applied to our text. We can deselect this text now by pressing Ctrl D or going up to our select menu here and just choosing deselect. We're finished with this spaced text layer now, the original text layer, so what you can do is just delete that. And then back on layer 1 here, I want you to right click on it and duplicate that layer. If it lasts for a name, just leave it as layer 1 copy. Now that we're on this top layer, the layer 1 copy, we're going to add one more new layer in. Okay, so let's go down to our new layer here. And we're going to rename it. So instead of calling it layer 2, just double click on it and change it to clouds. Okay, we're going to put some clouds in now on this text to give it a cool um, cloudy effect. So on the clouds layer, what I want you to do first of all is pop on over to your color boxes here and make sure you've got white as your top color and your bottom color as black. Once we've done that, we can pop on up to the filter menu, go down to render, and select the first option of clouds. You'll see some clouds appear over the top of your page. What we want to do is actually blend that in with our text, so we're going to go over to our blending mode here, just above our layers panel, and we're going to choose in the third section, color dodge. And you can see once we put color dodge on, that spacey, um, cloudy effect appears in the back of the letters there. Very cool effect. Now we're going to go down to the layer below clouds, the layer 1 copy layer. We're just going to add a bit of a blur in now. 
on these clouds and on this text. So if we go up to the filter menu again, we're going to go to blur this time, and we're going to choose the Gaussian blur. Okay, and as you can see, up comes the Gaussian blur and starts blurring across the text here. Now you can move this around, make it bigger. Okay, if you go too big, it's going to cover the whole page. You can make it really small if you wanted to. Okay, what we want to do is get it at a reasonable size. We'll go around the 100 pixel mark, I think. It looks pretty good. Once you've got that, you just click on OK. I'm going to go back to the clouds layer one more time here. What we're going to do is go up to our brush tool in our toolbox. And what we're going to do is import a new brush to put some star kind of effects on top of this text. So to do that, we need to go up to our brushes option at the top here. And we're going to load in a new brush. So go to load brushes. The brush you want you'll find in the space text effect folder. It's called star brushes. And when you load that in, you will notice that all these new brushes appear down the bottom of your brush list. The one you want is the one that's set to size 443. So it's going to be this one just here. Okay. Once you've got it selected, you can hover over the page there and you'll see that you've got this cool looking splatter effect. Well, we've still got white selected as our cover. I'm going to turn the opacity right up to 100 to start with. I'm just going to splatter some of that in the background and you get this cool spacey effect by turning the opacity down you can change how that looks a bit we'll splatter another effect there I'll turn the opacity down even more to about halfway we'll splatter some over there you can make the sizes bigger and smaller with your brush tool oh sorry with your right and square brackets remember so play around with different opacities play around with different size brushes and just start splattering that across the page. And eventually you'll end up with a pretty cool spacey text effect. There's a little bit white through here. I'm sure we can change that a little bit later. But I think for now that looks pretty good. If we drop the opacity on the clouds, it tones it down a little bit if you did want to do that. It's not quite as bright. There we go. So that's how we create a spacey text effect in Photoshop. When you're done, let's go to File, Save for Web, and make sure you save it as a JPEG with high or very high quality. That's it.